So if you play with black pieces, you should do the same. You should develop E5, so you stack the other part, and also you got a space. And also, you again, you open the way for to develop the queen and the bishop too. Okay? So now you know how you start your game. So you play white, you play e4, and you play black, you can play e5. Okay. Can you read this? Can you Yeah, I know. You know what you can do? Put it right there. The black right here. Okay. Um, so what are the second move in this game? So um, the grandmaster tried to develop the knight. So, what is the symbol of the knight? N. N? Mm, before N is N like this? No, capital N. Capital N. Remember, pieces always you have to use capital. It's very important. That's the, the difference between the palms and the pieces. Okay? Capital. You have to use capital. And you have to remember what is the symbol of all pieces here, okay? So in this case, it's capital A, A went to the F3. So after that, you write down the move, you come in here, you use your photographic memory, and the knight is going to F3. So you put the knight in F3. So you develop the knight, and the same time, you attack him. E5. You can see here, when you develop the knight here, you're attacking the pawn. E5. So your opponent have to think about that. And remember, we're talking about every time you have to look the last move of your opponent. Okay? If you don't have answer about the last move of your opponent, you're not ready to make your move. You understand? Because you have to ask yourself, why Paul Murphy moved the nine F3? So the answer is, well, he developed the nine, and at the same time attacking the pawn in E5. So what, what happened with one? Let's see what the other grandmaster meant from this move. So he played DC. And look at this guy, what happened. This is something new for you. That's the reason why I brought this game here. Because it's a different Defend. So usually, usually you develop the knight in C3 to protect the pawn in E5. You see that? Is is Murphy catch my pawn in and E5? You can take it back the knight in C6. But in this game, the other grandmaster they move D C. And this is very good for too because what happened is he protecting the pawn in e5. You see, the knight they cannot catch e5 because what happened? The pawn in this seat they can catch the knight. And everybody knows here what is the value of the pizza, right? What is the value of the knight? Let's see, somebody quiet. What is the value of the knight? No, what is the value of the knight? How many points? How many points? Maybe that's is help. One? Two? Three? Four? <laughs> Five? Okay. Okay, let's let's go here. Three points. Now you remember that. So the nine is three point. What is another piece that has the same value as the nine? Okay? The bicho. So bicho and knight have the same value. So you can trade that pieces. Okay? It's very good to you understand the value of the pieces. So what happened when he moved this six? What kind of defense is that? This is new for you. We got D6. 
this kind of your friend, guys? You know? Okay. No, very close. Do you know? I know you know because I did, I did. what is the, this? Okay, Sam, so what is this defense? When the black decide to move D6, not nine C6. What defense is that? It does start with a P, Sam. Yes. It does start with a P, but it's not Paul Murphy. Okay. Everybody going to remember it that. Rough. Philidor oh, defense. That. That's the way we call the defense. Philidor. Hey, okay. Philidor defense. Yeah. I come to ask this question. Yeah, this video. question might be in two months. So you have to use your photographic memory and keep it there. You mind? Ask him how to spell Philidor. Okay, how do you spell Philidor? What did I say it started with, you guys? <laughs> okay, let's get to that together because I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Together. Capero, right? Yeah. Because there's a name. It's only one. I don't know why. It's only one. A. No. D. I. I again. D. O. R. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I was thinking it was two L, but it's only one. I don't know why. Hello. This name? Last name? No. So this is it. And so what happened? Because usually, you know, you always see the nine C six. So what Murphy decide to do in the first move? Fighting for the center. And guys, I wanted, I wanted you to do that in your game. Always concentrate about to fighting about this center. Don't let your opponent to control the center. You always fighting for that. Because guys, you know what? When you control the center, you have almost everything to win your game. That's the secret with this game. Control the center. And that move was D4. See what move you did? D4. Like this, fighting for the center. Okay? So the opponent, I forgot, I'm seeing so saucy like that. And he tapped to the pedal, make a pin with the picture, and G4. Remember, we talk about P, you see the picture go to G4. What happened when the picture go to G4? What did it make it? P to move. And get it, I don't want it. Yes, it's like, it's not absolute, it's oh. relative, right? Because I can move the knife I want, but what happened? Lose the queen. You're going to lose your queen. And what is the value of the queen? Uh. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. If you say knife, that's okay too. Nine or ten, that's fine. Okay? And... So you come to lose your queen, yeah, because you can take a part of the picture. So how many points you're going to lose? Is 10 minus 3, 4, 6, or, or 7. Six. Depending if you think your queen is 10 or 9. Okay? So that's not good. So you can see how the other grandmaster that to make P here, and that's what you have to use, guys. Make a pin with a picture. Okay? Picture make pin like this. And one move. You see? No, whoops. You make a pin. One move. That's what we have to do. Fight it for the center. Make a pin anytime you want. <coughs> because sometimes, you know, your opponent for 
got that, and you cast the queen. You know? So what Morphe did? So Morphe, what he did here is he catch the pawn. He cast his pawn here. But you know, I forgot, I forgot how to write down. When you catch one piece, what do you have to write down this? Somebody know how to write down this action? Because I don't know, I don't remember. What is what do you put here? Okay, can you just tell me? Yeah, but what do you I want you to write down completely this move. If you have to play Y now, how do you write down this move? This action? But we start with what first? Who's this guy? What is his name? What is his name? What is his name? No. Every, this is Mom. You the girl. She the girl. She the girl. But she had a name. She had a name and you had a name. So what is his name? Or his name? Oh, oh. D4. That's a, his name. D4. So you say D. Right? D. Right, oh, God. Sorry. D, T, right? Remember this? The symbol to taking is X, right? So, D, take what? D, take what? Pawn. No. Where did finish? Why did pawn finish? Here. You see where they finish? E5. E5. So, D, take E5. The only Guy, you have to remember, they only have to remember where is the, the pawn finish. And that's the square you have to write down. E5. Okay? And the opponent to the knight. How do you write down that move? Somebody, hold the target. Okay? This move. Bishop. Take what? F3. How do you write down here? So what is the capital of the picture? What is the symbol of the picture? What is the symbol of the picture? How do you write down picture? B. I. I. Oh, she's spelling it for you. Oh. So, if you know how to write down the bishop, you know what is the symbol of the bishop. What is the symbol of the bishop? Always going to be what? The first letter, you see that? And the capital. So it's going to be capital, what? Capital, capital, capital B, right? Capital B, and you take what? Take X, F3, okay? Everybody agree with that? Did you take F3? I you can say only B, because you know what? Because because it's the, because you can set D4 if you want to E5, but it's not another D. It's not another D, you know? So you can set D to E5 like this. Um, now, my question is, why to move? And my question to you is, do you take it with the pawn? Or you take it with the queen? Okay, I want it to go. Who agrees if you take it with the palm? Thank you, and if you take it with the palm. You take it with the palm? Only you and you. You take it with the palm too? Okay, two. The rest take it with the, with the queen, right? Yes. So the answer is yes. You take it with the queen. Because remember, if you want to make castle, and this side, if you take a whiz, the palm, what happens when you 
my castle. Your key is, you know, the castle is so weak. Because it's like you had an open window here for your opponent coming and start to attack you. Understand? So that's the reason you don't want to move this pawn from here. Second, you want, look at what happened here, you want to develop one piece. So you take in one piece at the same time you develop the piece. That's the best move. When you take in one piece and develop at the same time. Okay? So the answer is, what is the symbol of the queen? Only two? Okay, what is the symbol of the queen? Capital Q. Very good. So, capital Q.